Hey guys, it's me and Stace. Welcome to video number four in our toilet paper roll mini album series. Last week we went ahead and created another pocket here. We added tags and also a little page here with a flap. Today we're going to work on two more. So I have two more toilet paper tubes here. I'm going to cut my paper to cover these. And I'm going to cut this to be three and three quarter wide by two and a half. That'll cover one of those. On the back side, I'm going to do just this heart paper. So three and three quarter again by two and a half. Okay, so this is going to take care of one of these. All right, now what I want to do, looking at our book, we have a pocket here or, or a pocket here on the front. Then we have a pocket in the back here, a pocket in the back here. We're also going to have a pocket in the back here because last week, if you guys remember, we created this little pocket and I did not add it. We're going to add that today on the front of this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this right onto this. And I'm just using art glitter glue. So glue this one on here. Okay. And our pocket again, let me rewind that. This is four and a half wide by four. Okay, and you're gonna take on the four and a half inch side, you're gonna score it at a half inch on both sides. Then you're gonna turn and score it at two and a quarter, and then cut off the small little flaps. This gets folded in, folded up, and there's a little pocket. But I do wanna cover the inside of this. I already went ahead and pre-cut this. So for the inside piece, this is three and a quarter wide by two. This is just gonna go on the inside of our pocket just to break up some of that yellow. And then we have the outside piece. This piece measures one and a half by three and a quarter. And again, I will have all the measurements for everything that we're talking about today on my blog. Okay, now we can go ahead and fold that in. Put glue on this piece here and this piece here. Okay, so now we have a really cute spot for a photograph. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sticky strip. I forgot to grab that. Because this is a pocket you'll probably use a lot, I do want to make sure it is stuck down really well. I'll probably just do three strips going across. Okay, take my bone folder, give that a little bit of rub, and that is going to sit on top of here. Okay, it's going to take the backing off of this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. I'm trying to make the videos not so long. So you guys are seeing this. I'm filming this on Monday. You guys are going to see this on Tuesday. And I think our last video for this will be on Thursday. Okay, so we have that. Now, of course, you want this part to go in the book. So again, I'm going to flip this little tab over, release the paper from the back of this part. But before I do that, I want to do the back. See, I almost forgot. All right, so for the back piece, now you, if you want to, you can still put a pocket in here, the tag in here if you want to. Um, I don't think I wanted to have a tag on the back, a pocket on the back. I'm not quite sure yet. Let me think. Only because the, the past two pockets we created, that they were on the back side. Hmm. We could put the pocket on the back and put the tag in the front. Let's do that. Okay. All right, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to grab my sticky strip again because this time we're going to be punching a hole in it. Okay, take your bone folder and give that a rub. Take the backing off. 
Fold in your glue ends. And grab your wet glue. Okay. So this part here has my, I want to make sure my pocket is going the right way. Okay. So glue this part down. And again, my sticky strip is on this side. And that's where we're going to punch out for our pocket. And I'm just using a three quarter inch circle punch. Okay, so that's going to go in here and punch it out. That way it has a little thumb notch. All right, now we can go ahead and put this in our book. So I'm going to open up the bottom. And again, this part we already took the tape off, so I'm just going to open that up, push it in there, get it down there as far as I can. And then before I push it down, make sure it's straight with the other pages. And that push, I'm like, I'm going to stand it up and just give it a little rub down here to make sure that's really, really stuck. Flip it over, take a little pick, and come in here and get, get that tape off. Sometimes it helps to kind of look at it from the side to get it. Okay, and then push that down and again just squeeze it to make sure they're stuck really well. Okay, so there's our next one. So we have a pocket, or a, yeah, a pocket for a tag, and then this part here for a pocket. And I already went ahead and did my tags, and remember these measured two and three eighths by three and five eighths. So we're gonna go ahead and put that tag in there. That way that one's done. Now we have this one. Alright, so this one here, I'm gonna put the tag in the back on this one. Okay, so let me grab some paper. All right, I'm going to grab this piece here. We're going to cut this to fit our toilet paper tube. And this is going to measure three and three quarter by two and a half. Okay, that's going to go here. Now before I do, before I glue this down, I do want to create another flap. You guys see we have a flap here going this way. I want to create a flap that goes upward. Okay. So before I glue this in, I'm going to make sure. I'm going to just make sure. All right. So our tag is going to go. Our tag is going to go on that side. Okay. Let me get a, cut another piece of paper for the back side of this. That way, that is done. And you get the same measurement, three and three quarter by two and a half. So the nice thing about this little mini album is that you can just use a six by six paper pack. You know, if, you know, we you have all these little pieces left over. You can always glue them together or tape them on the back and just create your own paper. All right, so we have this piece for the back. I'm going to glue this on first. So our pocket's going to be on the back as well. So I'm going to go to take my sticky strip again. Actually, I like this side better, so I'm going to put the sticky strip here. And I just like using a strong tape here because when you punch that hole out right here, um, the paper that we added is not going to flip up. All right, so I'm going to rub that, take the backing off. This is going to be the back. And then put our glue on. Oop. I want to remember, this is where my um, adhesive is. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over and work on this side. All right, so I have the paper for here. Now we want to create the flat piece. Now we know our toilet paper tube here is four inches wide. I don't want to go all four inches wide. I want to go the same width as my paper. So I'm going to cut a piece of white cardstock or any color you like to be three and three quarter wide. By two, and then we're going to score it at one inch. Okay, so three and three quarter wide by two, and then score this at one inch, and this will create the hinge for us for our flap. Okay, okay just have that go both directions. Now this should be the same size as this. When I put this paper on there, it's the same size. And I'm going to actually work on this part first. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put adhesive here. Okay, then put our piece of paper down. Just like that, make sure it's straight. Okay, and this part's gonna fold down. That's gonna be our flap. Now, if you can be wanna do a full flap, you can. Oh, what is this piece? Oh, three and three quarter. All right, so we know it's three and three quarter, or three and three quarter by two and a half is the paper size that we use to cover our, our toilet paper tubes. If I go down like two and a quarter, let me look, see what that looks like. Okay, two and a quarter, we'll see. You don't want to go down the full width of it because you want to make sure people know it's a flap there. So I think two and, yeah, I think two and a quarter is good. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna take this part, put glue on this, and you wanna be pretty liberal here with the glue. Because this is gonna be holding a flap on. And I do recommend using cardstock for the flap pieces. You can always go back in and add a pattern paper to it. Okay, all right, so now we just pretty much created our flap, our hinge. All right, now what side? This side had my, okay, so I know I want my flap to go in this way. Okay, like that. But before I add it on, now I'm gonna go ahead and cover this part and cover this part. So this part measures three and three quarter by two and a quarter. I'm gonna go three and three quarter by two, just so we're not butt up against that piece there. Okay, so three and three quarter. By two. It'll leave a little bit of the white showing, but if we go right up to that seam, it's gonna, it's gonna give us a hard time folding. Remember we had that issue before? All right. This is pretty much how I make when I do mini albums. I can just kind of think of things as I go along. Nothing is really pre-planned. Actually, I don't want to, yeah, I do. I guess I'll go the, th the full three and three quarter. Normally I would go shorter, but because this piece is the same size. Okay, so there's that part. Now we're gonna do the same thing for this part. Although this part, I'm gonna make three and a half by two, Yeah, we're gonna go three and a half by two for the front piece of this. I think I'll use this. And I'm just using scraps of paper. All right, what did I say? Three and a half by two. Hopefully that's what I said. Okay, three and a half by two, yeah. If you want to, you can round the corners on this as well. Usually when there's like a flat piece, I do like rounding the corners. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just using the We Remember Keepers Corner Chopper and I'm using it on the quarter inch side. Okay, all right, now we can go ahead and glue this to this piece. Let me make sure this is the right one. My pocket's up here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and punch that pocket out or the tab. Okay, so this is the back, this is the front. So, and again, because it's an interactive piece, I'm gonna go ahead and go pretty heavy on my glue. With the sticky strip. Okay, give that a rub. any glue hanging off, just gonna fold that under. Okay. All right, gonna plop this guy on. I'm just gonna pick it up even, and just give that a good rub, make sure it's stuck down really well. Okay, so now this piece is going to go here. So we're gonna open this up again, just so we can have that little bit of opening there to work with. 
flip this over. And I like working from the back first, then taking the glue up the front. So take this piece off, slide this piece in, and again, don't have it touch the glue until you know it's straight. So I'm going to kind of hold it there with my thumbs, pick this piece up, make sure it's straight with the other ones, and give it a squish. Okay, bring it down around this way, and come in here and grab that tape. I can, I can feel the sticker, the tape coming off, but I can't grab. There we go. Okay. Push it down, and then again, squeeze it together. And I have another tag for this piece as well. This, again, is 2 and 3 eighths by... Um, 2 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. That's going to go in there. Okay, so, so far, guys, we have... A page here with a with a tag, a page here with a tag or a pocket, a flap here, save a spot for photos and photos, you can journal here, another pocket there, a pocket here, a little pocket there, a flip up here, and a pocket in the back. Alright, so our last video, we're gonna do the last page and also the closure. Um, I wouldn't do the closure yet until your book is filled with all the, everything you want to put in there. This way we can figure out how wide it's going to be. Um, and plus, if you weren't able to get your toilet paper tubes really flat, you can see mine here, how they're all opened. That's because I wasn't able to get them all flat. But these ones are pretty flat. All right, guys, any questions, please let me know. Once again, go to my blog. All the measurements for everything we did today will be over there. Any questions, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.